guys this is tutorial number 8 for silence 5.2 in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to do a mux I'm going to do a 41 mux and then what a mux does it helps it basically selects one of the inputs and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that okay guys so I built my 42 my 4 to 2 1 mux and I just want to mention that there's different ways of building a mux uh, the few that I know of are the assign statement way uh, the always blocks and the if statement the conditional statement and in my case which I built was a case statement mux uh, so let me explain to you guys how the barrel lock here works so you have your inputs and make sure you have your select since I have a 4 to 1 mux I have a select of a 0 to 1 and then this here it's basically what it's doing it's um, creating two instances of select you could write it like let's say you write it like input select 1 colon input select two because instead of writing these two lines here you just write um, input open break braces one and then the colon zero close the braces and then the name of the variable and that basically what it does it does this here so you don't have to write two let me raise those and then your output and then declare it as a reg and then your always block which is sensitive to select and a b c d and as I explained before what is inside the parentheses in an always block this so what is inside the always block will be sensitive to this so every time something up here changes like the select a b c or d the case statement will be executed and then we go into the case statement the case statement has select into in the parentheses and the case statement is sensitive to select so whenever select changes this case statement will execute the logic inside of it so if you're looking here if uh, my select is 0 0 I will get whatever A has if my select is 0 1 I will get whatever B has if select is 1, 0, I will get C. If my select is 2, my select is 1, 1, I will get D. But in case something goes wrong and none of them are chosen, or there's an error, you have to put a default statement. My default is uh, X. So if something goes wrong, I'll just see an X. And that's it for this module. So I'm going to go ahead and build the test bench and I'll be right back okay guys so here's the test bench um, as we start you see the inputs with the class wedge and then the output declares a wire this uh, temporary variable I added because I am going to need it for a for loop that I'm using to run through the inputs uh, so if I go down I'll show you so this for loop here is the one that uses the integer i to run through it 15 times and uh, before I go into the for loop uh, I wanted to mention this monitor is basically helps monitor the input and outputs and it just displays it to the screen it's similar to display but it works uh, differently in that it helps by um, feeding the values in so it basically displays a little bit different from from the display from the display uh, statement so the for loop here uh, runs from 0 to 15 and then starts inc incrementing until it gets to 15 and then the integer that we declare up on the top we call the instances 0 to 3 from it and then A will be equal to instance 3, B will equal to instance 2, C will equal to instance 1, 
t equals to instance zero. And then declare the selects. If select one, if select equals to zero, if select and so on. And then just do the display to display a line that separates the the outputs and inputs. I mean the different inputs. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And then make sure you are on your on your design window. You are on your simulation. Check with your syntax. Make sure everything is working. And then just run your test bench. And so what I'm gonna do is go up here. I'm gonna check my inputs. And where is my What you can do on this one for you guys that let me see radiates. If you go here, so, so basically for the for these, you could change them to, if you go to radius, you could change them to binary hex. I'll change them to sex, that way I could see it better. And you could check it up here or check it down here, depending on whether you like to see your output printed or not. But it's quite simple to check it. You just have to check the last four bits of this, of the integer. And compare it to your select and then see what you got up here so that's it guys i hope this helps you out and we'll see you guys next time bye